In this question, we're told the variables x and y are defined parametrically in terms of the variable t. It is known that x is 2t cubed and that dy by dx is 2t plus 4t cubed. Part A asks to find an expression for dx by dt in terms of t. So part A, fairly straightforward, we're just going to differentiate t with respect, sorry, x with respect to t, which gives us an answer of 6t squared. Part B says to find an expression for d2y by dx squared in terms of t, and hence show that there is no value for t for which d2y by dx squared is equal to 2. So, working through this question, first of all it's worth knowing that d2y by dx squared is equal to d by dt of dy by dx. So essentially what that's telling us is to differentiate dy by dx with respect to t, and then divide that by dx by dt. So first, let's differentiate dy by dx with respect to t. Differentiating y, dy by dx with respect to t leaves us with 2 plus 12t squared. So then d2y by dx squared is equal to 2 plus 12t squared all over 6t squared. So and then says to show that there is no value for t for which d2y by dx squared is equal to 2. So let's say d2y by dx squared equals 2 and substitute it in and see what happens. So I get left with 2 plus 12t squared is equal, all divided by 6t squared is equal to 2. If I multiply by the 6t squared, then we get 2 plus 12t squared is equal to 12t squared. Now this is inconsistent because the left hand side doesn't equal the right hand side. The right hand side. Therefore d2y by dx squared cannot be equal to 2. Okay, let's have a look then at part c. Part C tells us the variables x and y are defined parametrically in terms of the variable t, and we know that x is 2t cubed and that dy by dx is 2t plus 4t cubed still. Part C asks us though, given that y equals 10 when t equals 1, find an expression for y in terms of t. So the way we're going to approach this question is we are going to use the idea that we know dy by dx is equal to dy by dt over dx by dt. So we know dy by dx is 2t plus 4t cubed. This is equal to dy by dt all over dx by dt, which is 6t squared. If I multiply both sides by 6t squared, I get that dy by dt is equal to uh, 12. So multiplying 2t by 6t squared, I get 12t cubed. Multiplying 4t cubed by 6t squared, I get plus 24t to the power of 5. So now I know dy by dt, I can actually find y, because we know that y will be equal to the integral of 12t cubed plus 24t to the power of 5 integrated with respect to t. So integrating this, I get y is equal to, integrate t to the power of 3, I get t to the power of 4, divide 12 by my new power of 4, so 12 divided by 4 gives me 3, plus integrate t to the power of 5, raises the power to t to the power of 6, In, divide the coefficient 24 by the new power of 6, and I get an answer of 4, so I get 3t to the power of 4 plus 4t to the power of 6, and then we have plus some constant of integration. At this point, this is where the information y equals 10 and t equals 1 is useful. So y equals 10, t equals 1 means that 10 is equal to 3 lots of 1 to the power of 4 plus 4 lots of 1 to the power of 6 plus our constant c. If I subtract 7 from both sides, because I've got 3 plus 4, 
I get left with c equals 3 and so our function y is 3t to the power of 4 plus 4t to the power of 6 plus 3. Okay then, so let's have a look and see how this question is marked. So starting off with part A, there's a standalone mark for getting that dx by dt is 6t squared. In part B, there is a standalone mark for doing d by for differentiating dy by dx with respect to t and getting 2 plus 12t squared. There is then a method mark for using d2y by dx squared is the derivative of dy by dx over the derivative dx by dt. And then there is an answer mark for getting to the correct derivative 2 plus 12t squared over 6t squared. Finally, there is an exclamation mark if we put together an argument where we substitute in d2y by dx squared is equal to 2 and show that the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side and so d2y by dx squared can't be equal to 2. Okay, so looking at part C, there is a method mark for using the definition of dy by dx is dx by dt and shuffling, uh, rearranging that equation. So I'm going to put the method mark there and then there is an answer mark for getting a correct expression for dy by dt. There is then a method mark for integrating dy by dt in order to try and find y. And there is an answer mark for getting that y is equal to 3t to the power of 4 plus 4t to the power of 6 plus c. Finally, there is an answer mark if you've worked through and used the initial conditions to find the full function and find the constant of integration is equal to 3. Okay, well I hope you understood my solution and that you was able to follow how to mark it.